Hi guys, my name is Hitesh. Today video about the food and diet. You note subscribe my channel please subscribe now. Let's start the video it's no secret that the amount of calories people eat and drink has a direct impact on their weight. Consume the same number of calories that the body burns over time, and weight stays stable. Consume more than the body burns, weight goes up. Less, weight goes down. But what about the type of calories? Does it matter whether they come from specific nutrients fat, protein, or carbohydrate? Specific foods whole grains or potato chips. Specific diets the Mediterranean diet or the Twinkie diet. And what about when or where people consume their calories? Does eating breakfast make it easier to control weight? Does eating at fast food restaurants make it harder? There's ample research on foods and diet patterns that protect against heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and other chronic conditions. The good news is that many of the foods that help prevent disease also seem to help with weight control foods like whole grains, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. And many of the foods that increase disease risk chief among them, refined grains and sugary drinks are also factors in weight gain. Conventional wisdom says that since a calorie is a calorie, regardless of its source, the best advice for weight control is simply to eat less and exercise more. Yet emerging research suggests that some foods and eating patterns may make it easier to keep calories in check, while others may make people more likely to overeat. This article briefly reviews the research on dietary intake and weight control, highlighting diet strategies that also help prevent chronic disease. Macronutrients and weight. Do carbs, protein, or fat matter? When people eat controlled diets in laboratory studies, the percentage of calories from fat, protein, and carbohydrate do not seem to matter for weight loss. In studies where people can freely choose what they eat, there may be some benefits to a higher protein, lower carbohydrate approach. For chronic disease prevention, though, the quality and food sources of these nutrients matters more than their relative quantity in the diet. And the latest research suggests that the same diet quality message applies for weight control. Dietary fat and weight low-fat diets have long been touted as the key to a healthy weight and to good health. But the evidence just isn't there. Over the past 30 years in the US, the percentage of calories from fat in people's diets has gone down, but obesity rates have skyrocketed. Carefully conducted clinical trials have found that following a low-fat diet does not make it any easier to lose weight than following a moderate or high-fat diet. In fact, study volunteers who follow moderate or high-fat diets lose just as much weight, and in some studies a bit more, as those who follow low-fat diets. And when it comes to disease prevention, low-fat diets don't appear to offer any special benefits. Part of the problem with low-fat diets is that they are often high in carbohydrate, especially from rapidly digested sources, such as white bread and white rice. And diets high in such foods increase the risk of weight gain, diabetes, and heart diseases. For good health, the type of fat people eat is far more important than the amount, and there's some evidence that the same may be true for weight control. In the Nurses Health Study, for example, which followed 42,000 middle-aged and older women for eight years, increased consumption of unhealthy fats trans fats, especially, but also saturated fats was linked to weight gain, but increased consumption of healthy fats monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fat was not. Protein and weight higher protein diets seem to have some advantages for weight loss, though more so in short-term trials. In longer-term studies, high-protein diets seem to perform equally well as other types of diets. High-protein diets tend to be low in carbohydrate and high in fat, so it is difficult to tease apart the benefits of eating lots of protein from those of eating more fat or less carbohydrate. But there are a few reasons why eating a higher percentage of calories from protein may help with weight control. Carbohydrates and weight lower carbohydrate Higher protein diets may have some weight loss advantages in the short term. Yet when it comes to preventing weight gain and chronic disease, carbohydrate quality is much more important than carbohydrate quantity. 
Specific foods that make it easier or harder to control weight There's growing evidence that specific food choices may help with weight control. The good news is that many of the foods that are beneficial for weight control also help prevent heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic diseases. Conversely, foods and drinks that contribute to weight gain, chief among them, refined grains and sugary drinks, also contribute to chronic disease. Nuts and weight nuts pack a lot of calories into a small package and are high in fat, so they were once considered taboo for dieters. As it turns out, studies find that eating nuts does not lead to weight gain and may instead help with weight control, perhaps because nuts are rich in protein and fiber, both of which may help people feel fuller and less hungry. People who regularly eat nuts are less likely to have heart attacks or die from heart disease than those who rarely eat them, which is another reason to include nuts in a healthy diet. Sugar sweetened beverages and weight There's convincing evidence that sugary drinks increase the risk of weight gain, obesity, and diabetes. 34-36, a systematic review and meta-analysis of 88 studies found clear associations of soft drink intake with increased caloric intake and body weight. In children and adolescents, a more recent meta-analysis estimates that for every additional 12-ounce serving of sugary beverage consumed each day, body mass index increases by 0.08 units. Another meta-analysis finds that adults who regularly drink sugared beverages have a 26% higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes than people who rarely drink sugared beverages. Emerging evidence also suggests that high sugary beverage intake increases the risk of heart disease. Thanks to watching the video. You like the video theme like it. New video and new information meet tomorrow. Bye bye, friends.